Hello Astronomy 151 students, this is Mr. Stockbridge. In this video I'll be giving you a short demonstration of exactly how to go through the procedures for the Planetary Orbits Lab. The first thing that we need to do is get a printout of our lab, which you see here, and the procedure is we're going to be tacking this down to a piece of cardboard. Now, one of the things that you'll notice if you use a regular thumbtack and a piece of cardboard is it's the thumbtack is going to stick through quite a bit and scratch the heck out of whatever table you're working on. So what I've done here is rather than using a thin piece of cardboard, I just took an old cardboard box, laid it upside down, and I'm going to be poking straight through into the cardboard and that way I don't scratch up any of the surfaces that I'm working on. Now one additional thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tape down just lightly the edges of the page so that it doesn't slide around or fold on me at all as I work. Now, I've already tied my piece of string. I should have cut this piece of string a little bit longer, but this will do for right now. Tie a simple knot in one end. I'm going to be doing this with a permanent marker so that you can see a little bit more clearly what's happening. Loop your string around the thumbtacks. Now, at this point, your pencil, or in this case my marker, has to be pointed straight up and down. Whoops, you can see I ran off the edge of my paper there a little bit. But just like that is really all we need to do. Now, at this point, let me move my string out of there. At this point, the lab takes you through essentially labeling different points on the ellipse. And I'm not really going to take you through that because if I did, I'd be giving away the answers. Uh, one key thing to remember, though, is that physically in the solar system, when this is happening, one of the, th the two thumbtacks represents the sun. And then the path represents the orbit of a planet around it, or a comet, or an asteroid. <coughs> so let's say this thumbtack here represents the location of the sun. There's nothing at this other location, the second thumbtack. This is essentially just a mathematical point in space um, that comes out of the math going into how to make an ellipse from an equation. And we're not going to get into that. At this point, you've seen all the demonstration that I can give you without giving away answers. Everything else is labeling different locations and taking various measurements. And then in the end, you're going to do a simple calculation with your measurements to determine what the orbital period is for an object traveling on this particular path. One last thing is that Obviously, as you change the size of the loop of your string, the orbit is going to change a little bit. The less, the less like a circle your shape is, the more oval shaped it is, the more eccentric it is. The closer this whole object is, this whole path is to a circle, the less eccentric it is. Just try and keep those terms in mind as you go.